We, we are Stephen and Jill. Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. Stephen Jill here. Hello. Welcome to the Land Academy Show, entertaining land investment talk. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, broadcasting from sweet Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, Jill and I talk about using Web Harvey to collect comparison values on Zillow. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Already, it sounds like this is, this is like, and we're out. Like, <laughs> I promise it's not that bad. This is a good thing, but it sounds kind of like. This is like, this is a big topic. Today we talk about how to make the best out of your new encyclopedia set. There we go. <laughs> That's what this sounds like. Today we're going to dissect and discuss. Do you have a cycle, encyclopedias yeah, in your account? Your accounting, uh, whatever. We're going to dissect and discuss all the tax changes uh, from 2021. <laughs> you know, you've kind of made it in life when yeah. you don't have to write the titles of your own uh, show anymore. <laughs> I'm not a writer on the show anymore. And oh, I think that's great. That's funny. So, okay. Here's yes, how, I did here's have how encyclopedias, these... by the way. I remember <laughs> so, that. Uh, did you have World Book or uh, Britannica? Britannica. We had World Book. Mm -hmm. Britannica, that's why you're smarter than me. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say I used them. <laughs> I had them. <laughs> Mine were uh, very, very, very unused. Mm -hmm. Remember you opened them up and the pages would crink because yeah, they were brand new. brand new. <laughs> You know, I think it was a guilt thing. Our parents just, they had to get it because you felt you like you're a better parent. Educated, right. Yeah, it's true. You had to have it as a parent. It was a something, rite of passage or something. <laughs> it was really, truly just silly because any topic you looked up, there's a paragraph on the whole subject. I don't know. Let's say you looked up turtle and it's a tiny little paragraph. You didn't learn anything. Right. There was, it was, all it did was say, you need to find other, you need to go to the library and actually get a book on turtles. Right. Like, here's where the country is. Mm -hmm. Not going to tell you that much about right. it. Here's the brief overview of the world. You know what? Actually, this is one of the reasons I like encyclopedia. It was a cliff notes <laughs> to wars, yeah. countries, all of that. I'm all about cliff notes. Like, who cares about what country? You'd look a country up and it's like their major exports are shale and oil and corn. Yeah. Like, oh, that's awesome. That's what, exactly what I needed to know about <laughs> country acts. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Population. I don't know. This is funny. We should find some old. That'd be really good. Like at Goodwill, it'd be fun to have like an encyclopedia to show the kids. These kids, I'm going to sound like an old man. Yeah. These kids have no idea what it's the Google and the YouTube, how Lucky. far ahead and how, how educated they are at such a young age on anything. And, and just to have, you know, I always, I said this when I was, because I had a computer when I was a kid. I was real lucky. I always started with computers. And I said, my dream one day is to have a computer like in the living room in the corner. There were no such thing as notebooks back then or, or laptops, but to have like a computer terminal where you could find out the answers to stuff when you wanted it. Is that why we had that computer in the yes. corner? The yes. Big, okay. That's there was exactly a computer. what that when was. When we got together, it was a computer in the corner. And like, is that like, is that a timeout? Like someone has to go <laughs> sit there and stare at it? Or? Well, yeah. Your, your punishment is to go sit there and learn stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That would be punishment for me. You know, Jill, we're so similar in some ways and so not similar in other ways. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Before we get into it, let's take a question posted by one of our members on the landinvestors.com online community. It's free. And if you are a Land Academy member, and I don't say this lightly, I'm really serious. If you're already a Land Academy member, please Look us up and talk, and uh, share your experience, the whole Land Academy experience on Discord. It's my favorite tool. Of all the tools that we have, I'm, I'm in there all day learning with other uh, Land Academy members. Cool. Here's a perfect example. This morning, there are two, two or three people on Discord that are, that are closing deals in the Land Academy group, and they're getting together, talking about what they should do with the money. And one person said, we should buy apartments. Another person said, we should convert office buildings that aren't being used into apartments. And then I piped in and said, you guys are all nuts. We should buy mobile home parks. So everybody's scrambling to look for mobile home parks oh, right now. That's good. Cool. That wouldn't happen no. before Discord. And this is when, are you doing this? Yes. Okay. Luke says, 
This is not a question. Um, this is a stroke of brilliance on Luke Smith's part. Luke says on easements, I've spent a crazy amount of time on legal access to properties because as you know, the way that we buy property, we send out these mailers, we get a lot of properties back and we review them in the due diligence process and they don't appear to have legal access. So he says, I've spent a crazy amount of time on legal access to properties. You can look at the deed. You can also look at plat maps. Uh, from there, you can look at older deeds and uh, the neighbor deeds. This is up Jill's alley. If you can figure out where the property was split off back in time, uh, it's the best deed to look at or, you know, or, or the deeds from uh, where the neighbors came. Look up all the maps and the legal descriptions uh, you're, you're referencing also. Better yet, hire out a preliminary title company and ask them, to make a color-coded map of the easements. This is brilliant. Mm -hmm. They'll do all the work for you and may or charge you, may not, if you do enough business with them. This is where the bigger dollar deals shine through. I could not agree more. Even if the title, Jill's looking at her watch. Oh. Even if the title company <laughs> does not find the access, uh, it doesn't mean that it's not there. Go look back uh, further in time, usually go back 30 to 40 years, get the old docs, go to the general land office website if you need to get the really old documents from the federal government uh, to the homesteader or from the state on the first landowner. Some of the time easements are spelled out uh, in there too, and they have uh, saved my bacon many times. If that does not work, offer cash to your neighbors to make some deeds, to create access through your neighbors, seriously. We have great tools like neighborscoop.com to help figure out what properties uh, to look up and where uh, most others don't even know where to start. That was really cool. Yeah. Oh, thanks for I am sharing proud that, Luke. to that be a member awesome. of Land Academy when I read stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So that was uh, Access 101. Patient, you're patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I patient? Oh, I am. Yeah, you're related to Kevin. Oh patient God, zero. I am patient zero. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I want that responsibility. Yeah. Today's topic is that as if that wasn't brainy enough. Yeah. Using Web Harvey to co uh, collect comparison values on Zillow. Web Harvey is a web scraping tool. When I first heard about scraping about ten or fifteen years ago, probably ten years ago, I laughed. When I first heard about Facebook, I laughed. When I first heard about FedEx, I laughed and said, that'll never work. Really? Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. What do you think about Clubhouse? I think Clubhouse is great. Okay, good. I think Clubhouse has, I'm over it now. I'm over the old man stuff. Okay. <laughs> I, I believe all this social media. Right. It, there is a, a, I say the word social media and, and a lot of people say, they look at me like I'm an idiot. I don't mean social media. I just mean the internet and the resources that are available. You know, I was the last person to get a cell phone. I, I always held out on this stuff back in the day. And that's just not the case anymore. I'm, I'm, I drank the Kool-Aid on all of it. I really think that the world's a better place because of all this. I agree. Web Harvey is just another current uh, example of why, you know, harvesting. Web Harvey is a tool to harvest data on websites and put it into a spreadsheet or however you see data to make decisions. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. And it's very, it's free if you're a member. Uh, we have a master subscription to it. I'm trying to get that person who owns the company, who's also the developer of the tool, to, to do a presentation for all of us to, to let us know, fill us in on the, the hidden. Um, best way, yeah. best practices yeah. kind of thing. What, like, please, can you rattle off the lists, like the sites? Um, like, does it work with everything? Let's just say no. I wanted to. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay. Like, okay, great. I'm glad we're having this conversation. Well, here's here's the result of using a, a tool like Web Harvey, okay. specifically with Zillow. You've, when you open Zillow and you look, just like we do on the Thursday calls as part of your due diligence, whether or not you should buy a piece of property or sell it, what you should sell it for, uh, the price, you you pull it up and there's a bunch of dots. You know, there's all these properties on a map that... Um, uh, the, red, the red dots are for sale property. The yellow dots are, <clears throat> excuse me, sold properties. And so that's great. You know, you're staring at a bunch of data that you can't use because it's not in, it's not in a spreadsheet form where you can average it all out and say, for example, uh, properties from one to five acres have sold in the last 12 months for $1,500 an acre. Great. I'm buying my this property. It's right in the middle of it. It's a like kind property for $400 an acre. 
I'm probably going to do okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's what Web Harvey will allow you to do. When you're staring at the data, unless you're the rain man, you can't figure that stuff out. You need to put it in a spreadsheet. <clears throat> so Web Harvey is a tool where it allows you to scrape all that data, puts it into a spreadsheet for you. You manipulate the spreadsheet to make value decisions. Perfect. There's a, a ton of other scraping tools out there. Uh, this one, for whatever reason, I don't know. I don't know why I chose this one. Probably, honestly, I chose this one because the the owner of the company, the developer, did a lot of videos on YouTube specifically for real estate people. So yeah, I can go do it on Realtor.com. I can do it on LoopNet. Mm -hmm. uh, I, you know, there's a lot of sites, but there are specific sites that are very anti scraping for a lot of reasons. They want to control that data. Realtor how is do one they of do them. That? Well, how? Yeah. From how a do they, tech, do they have a tech tech tools where their developers can block it. You can oh. scrape it. You can scrape Realtor, but the, what it'll do is if you're logged in, it'll, it'll block you and block your URL. Oh, they can find you. How do I know this? I still can't get on LoopNet on, from this computer. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I have LoopNet online. We're all good. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, okay. Why do you have six computers? Don't ask. <laughs> Yeah, That's why, why are you flying to Los Angeles this weekend? Yeah, because I can't use my computer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, that's hilarious. So this, wait, uh, there's workarounds for that too, by the way. Oh yeah, Jill, you know, listen to you. I know this whole tool. Web Harvey is we one big know. huge workaround. Yeah, that's Jill's middle name. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yep. So does that explain it? I hope that explains it. It's uh, hard to talk about this without Showing. doing a demonstration. Yeah. Yeah. But if you dream it up, I mean, you can find this is a, it's an amazing tool. I, you know, I don't make a decision now, an acquisition decision without using it. The point for me is look where we are today in 2021, what we can do versus what we had 10 years ago, even five years ago. You know, Luke's question, we were talking about neighbor scoop. I can just click around and find out everything I want on the neighbors and on the properties and pull deeds and do. It's amazing what I can do right now. And the old days, you'd have to go somewhere or or like the way we would, you know, work, we're buying three states away. So I'm calling and I'm waiting stuff to get mailed to me. And I hope they do it right. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes have to mail them a check and then wait for them to cash a check. And then they'll do the work for me. And it could be weeks before I have yeah. any answers. So what's next? That's my big question. I so I watched an interview with George Lucas, you know, the guy who did Star Wars. <clears throat> and he said, the movie industry is about 100 years old right now. It's a little more than 100 years old. So, he, And he said, think about the original movies and think about the movies now. He's, and then he said, very intelligently, think about the next 100 years and what movies are going to look like. It's going to be like those you're in it movies. Mm -hmm. You could probably like be- Like a hologram you, or Yep, something. you probably- I bet yeah, you can you're step in into it. it and you can have your own ending. Could you imagine? Yeah. I think that's so cool. Happy you could join us today, five days a week. You can find us right here on the Land Academy Show. Jill wanted to end this. I did. Tomorrow, the episode on the Land Academy Show is called Using Data 101 in Your Land Investing Career. You are not alone in your real estate ambition. They write the titles for us now, Jill. I think that's great. <laughs> They're going to be brandy. It's perfect. It's good. I'm glad. We have a, actually, we have Jill Friday coming up again because Aww. everybody loved it. Our numbers are so good last week. Oh, that's cool. I like that. I also created Steve Thursday. Oh, this will be great. <laughs> Stuff I want to talk about. <laughs> I like So bear this. with us. They're, they're all technical topics, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and there's uh, Jack Thursday and Jill Friday. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you need access to any sort of ownership or property details, including owner phone numbers, and FEMA flood map overlays, check out neighborscoop.com. Created by investors, that's us, for investors like you. We are Stephen Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration to buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 